Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. Welcome to my new favourite place to film, not necessarily because it is that glamorous or nice to look at, but because it has a giant mirror in front of it and I can see what I'm doing when I do hair and makeup tutorials. So I think my chatty videos will be in my room, in my comfy chair, where I think it has quite a good setting for video, but the other videos for now are going to be in this lovely bathroom setting. So yes, at least it's white and shiny, but it is quite echoey, so apologies about the sound, but just going with the flow here folks. So today what I wanted to do was a much requested video. I will be doing a scarf tutorial, how to tie a 1940s style turban slash head scarf. It is actually a, a bit of a repeat video. I did do a video like this in the past, but it's a very old video and it was on my MacBook. I filmed it on my MacBook. So the quality is not so great. And I'm not gonna do exactly the same um, techniques in this video. Now, you can watch that video if you like, uh, I'll link it up above, and I, I really like the styles that I did in that video, but I'm going to do a slightly different one this time. Um, a lot of those are like a two scarf uh, style, whereas this is single scarf style. So let's get started. I'm going to leave my hair like this. You probably saw my tutorial from last week for this hairstyle, it may be true roll tutorial. Again, I will link it above and below. Uh, I'm going to leave it like this because I want to see if I can incorporate the hairstyle go horribly wrong but uh, generally I do my scarves over bad hair days or just ponytails or, like complete lack of effort but today I'm going to do it over the top of a decent hairstyle because often fancy ladies of the 40s have very nice hairstyles poking out of their headscarves so let's see how it goes. <laughs> First of all you are going to need a nice big long scarf you can see this one is long okay it's a rectangular scarf you don't want a triangle scarf for these um, styles because they just won't work, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to drape the scarf over the back of your head and then fold it in half, like so. Sit it back in line with where you would like it to be for your hairstyle. I think about like this. I think I might go over the top of that one a little bit. I might just need to be over the one. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm just have to kind of make do. <laughs> then what you're going to do is take a couple of clips like this and you're going to clip the scarf in place. Now you won't see the clips in the long run and your hair will get pulled back regardless of the fact that you did this but it just helps to anchor everything down a bit I find and it helps you with this first stage. So I'm going to leave the bottom of my hair hanging out which I saw in a couple of cool Vogue style 1940s pictures and I'm going to cross over at the back. So see what I did? I went back and I'm crossing like so and then pulling back. Then when you get to this point you want to try and even out the scarf as much as you can so you don't have bulk along the sides and bring the scarf up toward the top of your head like this. Tuck the backs in, the back of it in if it's trying to poke out and look funny. Mm -hmm. Then up the top here you are going to tie a loop once. Yeah I'm going to have one victory roll hanging out. <laughs> once and then twice because you want a bit of height. That's what made them look so glamorous is that their, their turbans had height to it. See already I'm getting that kind of diamondy shape of the turban. Then what you want to do is get the end of your scarf and roll it. Try and make it a bit like a sausage so it's kind of long so you can create bulk at the front of your turban. And then you're going to tuck it, leave a little bit of excess hanging out like so, and then tuck it here. And you can leave a little bit hanging out at the top there. I quite like it to have a bit of texture. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you spread it out a little bit. I kind of like that I have a little bit of sort of hanging it out there and you're going to tuck it in here. Just make sure you use the scarf, like spread the scarf out a little bit so it doesn't look weird and bulky. Right. Make 
sure you tuck it in the back, maybe it's sticking out. There you go. And that is a basic turban using a long scarf. Mm -hmm. So the way that you tuck it in at the front, like you can leave pieces hanging out or create bows, it depends on the stiffness of the material you're using. If you're using something more like cotton, you can actually make like the material stand up and you have a bit more control over it, which looks really pretty and structured. But I just tend to do like loose kind of bits, yeah, tucked in here and there at the front. Now, second look for this. If you pull these pieces out and unroll them, so basically you get to that same point, we've done the double knot on the top, but then what you're going to do is create a little kind of like flower piece at the front here across the top, like a little crown. So we're going to first come forward, tuck some of this underneath the front, and then come back over like so. So you've gone tuck and tuck, and this time we're going to go the other way, we're going to tuck toward the back. Yeah, and then bring this and tuck it in the front. Right. <laughs> My victory roll is like well and truly squishy now. There you go, good to be focused at the front there. And that is turban look two, all right, with kind of like a ruching flowering effect across the front. I'm obviously wearing like a 40 style day top, so it looks a little bit over the top. But uh, yeah, I will probably go like all black with a pair of like black pumps and little pedal pushes for this. Feel like very vampy and then make this the focus of my outfit. Mm -hmm. All right. And the last one I'm gonna do is a twist. So you're gonna twist everything together all the way down to the end. Mm -hmm. And then bring it down the side. You're gonna create a bit of focus on one side of your head rather than at the top. So you can see I've twisted and rolled it all the way down the side here. So that is basically it. You can leave a little kind of bouffant or pompadour at the front here. You can do what I did and do a victory roll, which kind of needs a bit of tender love and care now that I've played around with it a bit. There you go. Um, and leave a bit of hair sticking out at the bottom, or you can pin it all up underneath, or you can just have a really bad hair day going on and chuck it on, or, which I think looks really cute, you can do a whole pink curl set, leave a few pink curls sticking out at the front, and then go like a really glamorous turban rather than just chucking on your normal coverall headscarf or hairnet. Mm -hmm. There you go. So there we go guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that little notification bell so you know when my videos come out. Come and join us on the Vintage Tips and Tricks Facebook community and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want some little tips and tricks of the vintage kind in between the videos that I bring out approximately once a week depending on how much I'm working. I'll see you in my next video guys. Thanks for watching, bye. Yeah. Mr. Mr. DJ, keep on.